Hey guys, um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. You guys are so lucky that I wasn't filming this yesterday or the day before because I actually would have broken down filming this. Fingers crossed I'm not going to cry because I've cried enough in the last few days for a very long time. This video is going to be about my exams being cancelled, about schools being closed. I just want to start off by saying it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, it's going to save lives, it's going to keep people healthy. It was 100% the right thing to do. And I am in no way saying it wasn't. It's just such a bad situation. And I wish it didn't have to come to this, but it did. And that's just the way it goes. But obviously, I am going to be upset about it because it's, you know, taken away from me a lot of the things that I wanted to happen. Um, I could already predict some of the comments so I'm just gonna say if you're gonna leave some type of comment like you're so lucky I wish I didn't have to do my GCSEs or something like year 13s have it worse or something like which by the way I know they 100% do and I am going to address that in this video. If you're gonna leave a nasty comment and you're not in this situation just please don't because you really don't know how it feels. Basically if you don't know what's going on because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it um, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, has decided to close schools and cancel GCSEs. Um, so that means that most likely I won't be going back to school until September, which is half a year. Um, and I won't be in the sort of secondary school. I still will be in school, but like I'll be in the college years. I'm just staying at my school and not going to college. I definitely know that I've got into my school which is brilliant. Instead, we're gonna get our predicted grades, all sort of like teacher-based grades. So that will go off coursework, our mock grades, and predicted grades. After this, I am filming a mock grade video. Um, I'm happy with most of my mock grades. However, a lot of them, I would be very upset if they're my real GCSE grades. And that's not because they're bad, it's just because I know I could do a lot better. So the first point I wanna make, I've written down a list of points, is, um, I know the year 13s have it worse. I feel so bad for year 13s who are not going to do their A-levels, they have no idea what's going on with the university. Thank God I know where I'm going next year. I also feel really bad for year 12s and 10s who are going to have to teach themselves a lot of the GCSE course and A-level course, that's going to be horrible. Obviously I've been in this mindset of GCSEs for as long as I can remember, like a really really long time. I've revised a lot. I've given up nearly all my lunch times since Christmas and even before Christmas I've given up so many after schools probably about three a week um, to revise to go to revision sessions to go and see teachers for help etc etc I have worked hard and I was going to continue working harder but obviously I cannot now the fact that that's just taken away from you and now I can't even imagine doing GCSEs is so strange it sounds so weird and no one is going to understand this unless they're in um, my position. Even people in my position may not even understand this, but I would actually give up anything, well not anything, but I would, I so badly just want to be able to do my GCSEs and I, this time a few months ago I would be thinking I would give up anything to not do GCSEs, I don't want to do them, I want that exam experience, I want to feel the buzz of going to my first exam and coming out of it, I want to, you know, experience study leave, I want to experience coming out of my last exam and, you know, me, me and my friends were planning to burn all of our revision, which we could do if we could leave the house. Prom, oh my god, that's not happening. Results day probably isn't even happening, they're probably just going to be emailed to us or something. I'm not going to go and ever get to thank my teachers. I'm not, I'm probably going to see all my classmates one more time. And after that, half of them are leaving and the other half I'm probably going to be like I'm doing different subjects then so I'm not going to be in the same classes. It just sucks. I just, I have always had in my head how those things would go and now they're not even going to happen. I was actually revising when I found out that exams weren't going to be closed 
and it's so strange how I just adjusted to it immediately that exams just weren't going to happen and it was the strangest feeling and I can't even believe that two days ago I didn't even know that you know anything was going to happen with exams my teachers were telling me you know they might be moved but that's it like revised everything everything will be fine and now I'm not going back to school for six months and GCSEs are cancelled oh my god it's just I've had to adjust to it so quickly everyone has and it's the weirdest thing it's so strange I can't even explain to you the feeling of having to adjust to literally not doing this exam that you've or these exams that you've plan your whole life around and that I don't know it's just so strange I was only told the day before my last day that it was my last day um, I've realized not gonna cry <laughs> I've realized that um, I never thought I was but I'm definitely somebody whose happiness relies on other people and I really didn't think I was but I've discovered that I am. Also ironically because I was banging about how I hate it school is actually like my favourite place and not being at school for half a year is literally heartbreaking for me. I just see all of my favourite people there and there's people who I actually love with my whole heart who I would just probably never meet up with outside of school also just this isolation thing I can't believe I'm not going to get to see my friends six months I can't believe I'm not going to get to see probably my extended family for a very very long time like a few months at least it's just when a lot of your friends are going somewhere else especially ones who you've known since primary school it's really hard that you have one, literally one day left with them when you thought you had months and that is the hardest thing that there's people who you've known for 12 or 13 years and you have to say goodbye to them right then and there and you're never going to see them again even people who I'm going to see next year we, we're we not going to be in the same form. My form is literally like my family. I can't imagine not going to form every morning. Like, it's the weirdest feeling. And I know that I'll probably be with barely anyone who's in my current form in my form next year. And that is so upsetting because I actually love my whole form like sisters. Like, genuinely. They're just the most amazing people in the world. Um, obviously onto the main thing. Getting my predicted grades or getting, you know, these teacher assigned grades is definitely bittersweet. Um, obviously, we don't have to do the exams and we can still get the same grade doing the exams as we will not doing the exams, if that makes sense. Um, however, it could also go the other way. There's subjects like maths that I'm sort of thankful this has happened for because I feel like my, well, I don't feel like my maths predicted grade is the same grade as what I feel like I would have gotten in my exam um, and obviously I don't have to take the exam so that's great um, however my drama um, I'm not trying to show off but I feel like I wanted to work so hard in drama I already know that in 40% of my drama I did get a 9 and um, I got one mark off full marks and that's not me trying to show off or anything this is just me trying to tell you like how much I really wanted a 9. However there was 20% that we were meant to be doing in April and we can't do it and the 40% was the written exam and in my 40% written exam mock I got a 5. It's still good, it's still pass um, but I really really just want that 9 in drama. I don't even think it's because it's drama, I think it's because I really 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 just in one subject want a 9 and I know now that I've got that 9 in 40% of my GCSE that I'm capable of getting a 9. So I was going to work so hard to improve my you know drama written exam grade. I was working 
well, <laughs> I would have worked so hard on that other 20% and I just really, really wanted a nine in drama and I honestly think I'm going to come up with a seven, which is still great, still really good, but it's a little bit, you know. My music coursework, I've handed it in unfinished and I can't hand it in finished. So if he thinks that that is my finished thing, he is going to think I'm awful and then I'll get a rubbish music grade as well. But I feel like, thank God, my um, with my predicted grades I could pass all my GCSEs 100%. It's just not going to feel the same though when I open those results, knowing that I didn't you know, work right up until the last second, knowing that, you know, oh, I thought I was going to fail because the exam was so hard, like, I haven't got any of that, and I'm not, I was so excited to feel that feeling of, oh my, like, when I opened that 40% of my drama grade that I got a 9 in, I nearly cried, and that was 40% of 1 out of 11 GCSEs, because I knew that I'd worked so hard for that, I knew that I'd put in so many extra hours for that, Obviously, I've spent so much time revising and I need to keep remembering that, but I know like, I'm not going to have that same feeling of satisfaction when I open my results. Might not even open them, might just get them in a blooming email. Also prom, I was so looking forward to prom. I bought my prom dress, it cost a lot of money. Can't send it back because I've had it for more than 14 days and I think the like send back time was 14 days. Um, another thing is obviously all the revision I've done, all of it goes to nothing, not even just revision, I opened my cupboard with all my school books in and it was literally gut-wrenching to see like days and months and years of like just work all for these exams that I'm not even doing, like I have to keep remembering that obviously these, these grades that I'm going to get are going to go off of my classwork and off of other tests that I've done so it was still all worth it but it's just the fact that all of this was for these exams and we're not doing it like it's actually <sighs> sad um, also I had planned so much for that long summer I had planned you know coming out of my last GCSE being <gasps> unbelievably excited then having a day where I can get my nails done, where I can tan, where I can get my hair done, everything like that, then the next day is prom, then after prom I can meet up with my friends, and then the next day I'll get a gym membership and start going to the gym, the next day I'll go into town, I'll do some shopping, I'll, I planned all of this, I planned my months of freedom, and it's strange because now I have all these months of freedom, but I can't do anything, and even if in July they say okay you can do stuff now here are your months of freedom it's still not going to feel the same because I'm not going to have that feeling of oh my god I've been working this is so strange what should I do now like because I've been I've had freedom for such a long time I just haven't been able to go outside oh if, you, if you're not aware I'm in self-isolation um I'm not being locked in my house for anything <laughs> um, I'm just obviously doing it for safety of people around me and stuff. I think that is everything. Please, 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 please stay indoors, stay safe. Don't risk putting you yourself or anyone around you in danger, please don't. Um, I hope all of this will be over soon. However, now that I don't have two GCSEs, I am gonna be uploading a lot more. So there's always a, what's it called? Always a, sun behind the cloud that is not it always a silver lining is that the phrase something like that um basically there's always a little bit of good to come from some bad so the little bit of good is that i get to upload a lot more often i think that's everything i love you so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye